without that sense of ownership could definitely do without that and i could do with more of inspiring creativity individuality Hello everyone and welcome to Chai with Rai, a life and culture podcast diving into the mindset and business of being a creative. I'm your host Rai and each week I bring you a guest or a fruitful message from the creative industry all while sipping and spilling some hot chai. Why? Because all good things happen around a hot cup of chai. Now, if you haven't done so, make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you never miss an episode. If you love this podcast and are listening to this on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Audible, or wherever you are streaming this podcast from, if you could do me a kind favor and make sure to rate the podcast down below and share it on your stories, on social, and spread the word. It organically grows the show and connects us with listeners who haven't tuned in before. And overall, as I always say, it just shares the love. Also, if you haven't done so already, you can now become a patron, aka a supporter of Chai With Rai, by signing up up on patreon for five pounds or as i love saying it in this accent five dollars and fifty cents each month your subscription will help support the show but also get you exclusive bts footages that is behind the scenes footages and some extra juicy bits i will put the link for the patreon channel as well as all the other info in the description of this episode so make sure to check that out but without further ado let's warm up our cuppers and let's dive into the final part of my conversation with dance artist choreographer facilitator movement director just a brilliant artist Vidya Patel yeah that's really interesting and I can definitely resonate in terms of um, that feeling of when you understand like the business or the politics of it and that kind of putting not pushing you off but or disconnecting from that practice because you question it a lot more or you're curious because you're asking loads of questions um so yeah i can definitely resonate with that and also that feeling of um yeah that sometimes you know i guess everyone in different ways goes through it at different points but it's very individual to them but like that feeling of not belonging or not being mm. part of a space and like it's interesting like in terms of what you say of like not having that training because yeah even that can make you feel like an outsider of like not having a particular type of training or a popular type of training like me not having ballet training like sometimes I feel really out of place but I'm trying to like learn about it so that I can use it as a tool when I'm working with people who have that predominant training Mm. but then again it's like it's really yeah sometimes you just have to like yeah I always try and remind myself like yeah what do I know what do I feel like is within me that I can share but it's yeah it's an interesting one and I think what you said about sometimes the forms and what they represent or what they the ideologies about it and the idealism in different places like it I have found it difficult at some point to be like actually why am I actually performing this art form like what does it mean to me what does it mean to like the world around me as well like me doing something about krishna like what has that what significance does that have and i think i question a lot of things like that and i think that's why this year particularly i probably like stopped performing the form because i'm like trying to find my way in that like how i spend time researching about other stuff i really i'm trying to do that for myself about the form and obviously i love Kathak, but always like how can I make it a bit more authentic to me understand it because again that's not part of my heritage I my heritage is Gujarati so it actually doesn't have a link to me as well heritage or historically apart from the fact that it's from India which is where I am linked to so in a way I'm like yeah actually what would have my ancestors have done they would not have done Kathak they would have probably been doing folk dance in mm. the villages, um, more communal dancing. And I think <laughs> I'm finding that interesting, like how we associate ourselves with certain forms, but actually they are really far from us as well. I think it's really far from me because I'll, I'll have no lineage of people who, you know, were performing, but know of people who had, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I always find that quite interesting or like even people who maybe yeah or Gujarati or doing South Indian form like 
we have no connection heritage wise to that so it's like finding how you connect to it in that way all right we gotta do we gotta do quick questions you okay Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right quick responses what's the thing you look for when working with someone or collaborating with someone Oh, they've got to be a lovely person. That is one of the main things. They've got to be really, like, good vibes. And then, obviously, they've got to be just, like, I think shit art at what they do or, like, the potential as Uh, well. I think it's quite nice to be, like... Which one weighs more? Because I say that because I know choreographers and movement directors and assholes. Sorry, I'm just saying I'm labelling it as well. People will say that, but a lot of the times I see so many other people getting picked that are, like, so much more technically skilled and it comes down to project and time and i get that but yeah assholes i think project and time is a big one and budget like do you have that time as well like that's why i like to be in control if Uh i have that opportunity like how can you be in control because then that gives more opportunity for that potential like yeah uh, a tip on dance artists transitioning into facilitation or choreographing or movement direction that you would like to impart on them, but never were told yourself. The never you told yourself is a hard one because I think some things may be like a drop thing, a hint, or like I just pick up on it. But I would say just go watch, watch, watch as much as you can. I was also told this, so like email people mm. that you want to. Don't feel afraid to email because there's always a person on the other side find opportunities to observe i feel like observing is like sometimes so underrated like people are like, oh, observe. and actually when you go to observe the etiquette of observing as well like find out what that is with the person who you're observing like not that i wasn't told that but i think sometimes you can't go and observe and be disturbing you got to go and observe and like i think that's something that probably isn't told but i you know you just can't be disturbed. Like, I'm not that I was disturbing anyone. You basically like, shut off with I've, like walking spirits, Doritos, and we're yeah. just like, boo, boo. I think I've had that experience where you're like, maybe, oh yeah, like when yeah, when you're observing, I think it's really good to find out like what that relationship is. And I think everyone that I've had observing, they've been great because like they're like colleagues that I've worked with. I try and open up processes like more recently as well, like open up processes to people that I've worked with. Um, but again, chances of, of observing are really limited. So I'd say, yeah, ask someone if you can observe. And if you know that they're doing something that you're interested in, just be like, oh, can I just be there? Is what just, just, just be there. <laughs> just bring you what. <laughs> Three things the dance cultures, be it South Asian or overall scene, could do with or without. I think um, arrogance. Could do with more arrogance. I agree with you. Oh, no, without. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think without arrogance, without that sense of ownership, could definitely do without that. And I could do with more of inspiring creativity, individuality. Three dance artists that you really admire their journey or their work or who they are as people and would suggest in checking out their work. And also, if you could email them to me, that'd be great. Yeah, um, well, Aditi Mangal does huge fan absolutely amazing Kathak artist and contemporary artist recently shared solo work at Sadler's Wells for two nights on the main stage but yeah absolute idol um, other uh, other artists Hitain Patel again is a wonderful visual artist choreographer practitioner filmmaker director lots of different things but Again, I think being part of his work in different ways has really informed me about how I see myself within the industry as well. And the third, oh, it's really hard. I think there's lots of people. Okay, you're um, not choosing three of the best. You're just choosing uh, three right now. Three. <laughs> I think another person who I really enjoy listening to their work, oh, mu- musicians as a whole, I think. Because I, I enjoy lots of different musicians and listening to their work. But um, yeah, Shami Pitti, I collaborate with him quite a lot. I really love Anushka Shankar's work. I said um, three men! Bim and lots of different artists. All writers, theatre, love everything. All of them. <laughs> um, a tip on funding or applications or emailing that you would like to impart on someone 
at the moment definitely not emailing because I'm currently a bit behind on that. But do not when, ma- speaking from experience, <laughs> do not email video. <laughs> I think, well, back in, like a few years back, actually, this is a random fact, but I read this book, How to Get Things Done. Oh, yes, it's a good book. It is a good book because it taught me how to, again, then I was probably better at my emails. I need to get some help. If anyone wants to help me with my emails, please help me. Um, but... I can help you after the test. <laughs> Because I yeah, organize a- emails. I hate, hate seeing people's email inboxes that are like yeah. in the in the numbers. But I mine are now in numbers, but I need to get them down. But the good thing from that book was like make folders, how you would have folders on your desktop. And also your inbox should actually only be like zero. So like try and get things sifted into other areas. Right now, I, I can't speak from my experience because that is currently not me right now. But there are many, many people in the world doing great things with emails. Learn from them and find out. So that is one. I think, um, oh, it's funding. Um, <laughs> oh, that's it then, I think. that's. No, you can quickly go on. Give funding. Oh, fu- funding. I'm also currently doing that. But just bloody email people because they actually might be interested like bloody just do it yeah bloody just do it that's gonna be the title of the episode bloody just do it with the other tell um i'm obsessed with financial literacy for creatives because i feel like we don't get taught it so i'm mm-hmm. interested in knowing is there a tip that you would like to give that you feel like you've learned on being financially savvy for example i have learned to have ns and i bonds and putting mm-hmm. whatever paycheck you get at least 10 percent of that in that and not touching it unless you are really about to be homeless or like in a really, mm. really tough place. So having NS, NS and I bond savings. And then also I learned something about switching your bank accounts because banks apparently pay you to switch banks accounts so you can actually get free money. That is fantastic. That is really good advice. Thank so you, you. What would you um, I would say watch the Martin Lewis show. I don't know if anyone watches that. It's the money show okay. comes on Mondays and you can learn all things money and finance. I'm currently also learning. But I think that there is a big thing about financial literacy when it comes to you as an artist. And also, like, how do you organize your invoices? How do your invoices look? Try and if someone sends you an invoice or you can get a nice template or you, you want some, some help with it, just ask. Because sometimes, you know, you even with the title of your invoice, have like an invoice number, have like your name in the invoice title so that that can be helpful for employers as well. But have try and create some sort of system for yourself because I think that's helped me. It also helps to keep track of what you're doing, like in terms of projects, but that would be mine. It's a pretty basic one. But um, yeah, I think, um, yeah, also note to yourself as well. But yeah, just try and keep on top. Yeah, cut tight. Oh, my words all mixed up. But, decision, yeah, decision. Try and keep, <laughs> try, try and keep reviewing that yeah. finances because I think also generationally there's a lot of things like your relationship to money, like how that is. I think I, um, yeah, I, I try and force myself to just try and cu- come out of habits that I may have learned, or you know, yeah, you know, some things are generational, but also you can't leave that to generations. In terms of putting them at fault, you've got it. Yeah, you do, some, do some work with it. Yeah. But Martin Lewis show, that's a great one. Okay, cool. Um, the, the, again, Jaldi, I'm loving the pro- <laughs> proverbs that are coming out of you. It's one o'clock already. <laughs> and I said we'll be done. I don't mind going over. But... No, I'll be done. So, yeah, I'm happy, happy, happy to. Okay. Be words to your mirror self. If you looked in the mirror right now, what words of wisdom would you give to your mirror self right now? Um, Keep going. Even though you may feel like you're starting again, that's great as well. Mm. You know, every day is a new start. Love it. Love it. All right. The games are called Sip a Chai or Play with Rye, where if you want to play with Rye, you play with Rye. If you don't, you sip your chai. These are going to be fast, quick and original. So the first section is called If I Was. So if I was to be like, if you were a color, what color you would be? And you'd be like, I don't know, purple. I don't know. Okay, um, if yeah. you were a movie, what would the original title of that movie be? First thing that comes into your head. Dance, oh. dance, dance, dance. Dance, dance, dance. Um, give me the storyline of dance, dance, dance. Basically, it would be like, oh, find your passion, you know, you know, punch up some people. Like, it would be like, it would probably be a bit of like action as well. 
I like I like the action aspect, but also like quite interested in like how sci-fi could be involved in that. Okay. Um, it could be a thriller. It could also be a thriller potentially. Like I enjoy watching like I don't like horrors, but I think a thriller aspect to it could be interesting because I haven't actually seen that uh, in the world. Like a wa- dance maybe. I watch out for people like you because <laughs> when I die, I'm just uh, by your hands because it's people like you who watch thriller TV shows and films. I'm not going to be surprised that I got killed by people like you, but I'm just going to be like, why now? <laughs> to be all. honest, I think it's more my husband likes watching it like, um, yeah, thrillers or like, ooh, suspense. Like, also, my mom loves suspense ones. So like it, there'd have to be some sort of suspense in it because otherwise that's boring. Like, what happened? Yeah, what's the suspense? In childhood to all of you. <laughs> <laughs> to all of you. I can't uh, watch horror though. That is out the. That is out. That, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Give me three actors that would star in this thriller dance show. A t- sorry, film where you have to dance oh. yourself to death, or you got killed because of dancing. I think there'd be a lot of dancers. Like there'd be like I'd probably try and get like hundred dancers in it. But three and actors. I'd like Give me three actors. Three actors. Mm. Three leads, three leads. Three leads. Do you know who I really like? Shafali. Um, do you know the one who was in ah what's her name? <laughs> Shafali. She's like the did you, did you watch Delhi Crime? Yes, which one? The main the inspector. inspector. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. She would have to definitely be in it because yeah. she is just an incredible actress. Yeah. I really rate her. Yeah. Um, I think another person would probably, I'd like someone like British, British Asian. I really like the actor Nikesh Patel in terms of like variety, does a lot of different genres. So p- potentially could, you know, also who else would have to be at some dance, but who gets killed or who gets, where's the suspense? I don't know who, but that would probably have to be a mystery. Okay. So a mystery <laughs> third lead who never shows up in the trailer until the <laughs> <laughs> um, if you were a drink, what drink would you be? A smoothie. If you, what type of smoothie? Oh, you? like a berry, 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 berry. If you were a food, what dish cuisine would you be? Indian, Korean, and Japanese. Give me and one Italian dish. Mixed together. One dish. <laughs> one epic oh, dish. Uh, dal makhani. That's not Korean. Or oh, sorry. <laughs> but I will put some noodles in a dal makhani. <laughs> If you were a fruit, what <laughs> fruit would you be? Uh, mango. Dessert. I think he like rice pudding. <laughs> clothing item. <laughs> uh, clothing item. Um, trainers. Flower and plant, and which type? Orchids. Nice. All right. Have you ever? Is the next section. <laughs> this is going to yeah. get personal. So just okay, go. Cool. Cool. Have you ever hooked up with a fellow artist admirer or admirer? That's no. kind of a yes. That's kind of a yes. Um, but. You're he, married. he wasn't an art yeah but he wasn't an artist when i met him like as oh. in he's become more of like it was in there but he hadn't shared it then got it have you ever flirted to get ahead no have you ever joined the mile high club or done anything intimate public no peed while swimming yeah, yeah. Eaten, uh, eaten within yeah, a couple yeah. of seconds of something dropping on the floor or in the bin oh yeah definitely, definitely. what would you rather cookies or cake cookies rich or fame rich Win lots of awards or have lots of money? <laughs> money. <laughs> Netflix or Prime? On Netflix. Fairy tale slash mythological stories or real life stories? I like all of them, but I like real life. World peace or equality? Uh, I think world peace. Dogs or well, cats? Uh, currently, there's lots of dogs. So I would have to say dogs. Jalebi or gulab jamun? A jalebi. Biryani or oh, gulab jamun? Gulab jamun. No, you said da, da, da. Jamun. Biryani or dal? Dal. Uh, Maggie noodles or rotli and shark? Mm, rotli shark. Bajia or dosa? Dosa. Shan masalas or national masalas? Mm, national, national. Okay. Keep these names in your head. Sujata, Sujata Banerjee, your guru. Um, mm-hmm. Richard Alston, Zia, Connor, and Gary Clark. I'm saying Connor because it's Connor Clark and Zia. Zia, I'm going to be both now. I'm going to throw scenarios at you, five scenarios, and you can only have one of them in there. Okay. Wild. 
<laughs> out of all, out of all of those five people, so Sujata, Richard, Zia, Connor, or Gary, which one would you rather do a collab piece with on the history of Garba, but told in a BSL form and through an interactive cooking class? I think cooking. I think sh- it would be Sujata. Okay, so Sujata, yeah. fab. Yeah, Sujata Who Sujata. would you now? Sujata's out. You can only. Oh. Pick who would you, out of Richard, Zia, Connor, or Gary, be in a film about shopping for outfits at Harrods? Oh, maybe Gary. Maybe Gary. Okay, cool. Now Gary's out. Who would you rather do a TEDx talk with on improv titled Balance of Guiding and Collaboration? Um, I don't know, maybe Zia would be quite good at that. Okay. Yeah, I think he would have the words and, you know, improvise that. Which comes out with the great, yeah. I agree with that. All right, two names left. Who would you rather be on the cover of Elle magazine with and do a round trip around Asia researching on rice and farming? And who's left? Richard and Connor. Richard and Connor. I think Connor, Connor definitely. Okay, so Richard Alston will be commissioning you, um, working with you alongside for an eight episode series on chilies and plants. Oh, wow. I think that sounds quite fitting, actually. Yeah, it does sound. All right. Yeah, it sounds quite good. Oh, I love that. All right. These are your last two questions, and then you're free to go. Everybody I bet you're happy about that because I can speak for bloody ages. But I don't <laughs> mind people who speak for ages because it gives me two episodes, so more material for me. Mm-hmm. Um, plus, also, I generally do. Like, I have so many questions. I wanted to ask about Trinity. I wanted to ask about, like, so many of your Catholic pieces. But it's okay. You know, we, we covered a lot. Yeah, and if not, there's other podcasts that y'all should listen to or reach out to Vidya and she'll reply to you in six months. <laughs> I'll get back to you ASAP, you know, just end of the year. We're getting How now. many emails do we have right now at Standing? Just give me the number. I'm not going to. It's dreadful. I can't just even have that. That's, that's something number. that I need to cut. This is something you need to cut. Just give me a number. Right now, it's like above three figures. 1, what it's is really that? bad? <laughs> how did it get this bad? Let's talk about. Should that. tell you. Should tell you how it got this bad. I think. I think there's a few that I would always keep zero, and I think there's a few that have been flagged that or pinned that I need to just get rid of and like move. I need to spend like three days on it just to. Uh, there's a lot which is like I bam. just need to sort. Oh, um, okay. yeah, but. Yeah, three days. Oh my god, yeah. a thousand! I know. It's silly. You, that's giving me PTSD. <laughs> I need someone to help me with admin. That's what it is. <laughs> I generally kid you not. If you need my help, I used to organize <laughs> corporate email accounts. My last, like, I did worked in e-commerce. So, yeah. Um. All right. Wow. Your last two questions. Okay. Everybody loves a rant. You love a rant. I love a rant. Who doesn't love a rant? You get to rant for 30 seconds about anything and everything you want. However, you have to start or end your rant with what the chai. Do you feel like mm-hmm. you have something to rant about? Does that have to be like dance related? No, it can be life related. Okay. Um, maybe. Maybe. Right. Let's see what happens. I don't know if I do, but maybe this is This is Vidya Patel. <laughs> <laughs> what the chai. Go. What the chai? So basically, um, there's obviously so many things going on in the world, and I think right now a bit of a rant about just how crazy like London is, like the capitalism. You know, people buying things, and do you actually need it? Like, I think that's a question that we all need to ask ourselves: Do we need to get that thing? Do we need, should we return that? Do we really need that? Like. I don't know, I bought something. I bought like a case, Tupperware case. I was like, do I really need that? Because I've got all the bowls. I've got the bowls that I could use instead. So something's going to be returned because they do not need to be there. But um, Time. Yeah. Oh. oh. It was 30 seconds, but you can go. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that's my current one. Like, just like. Do we need it? So, do we need it? And like, there's so much stuff like adverts. It's like, you need this, you need that. I don't want anything. Yeah, that is true. All right. The last question is, I'm I'm really about finding joyfulness. And yeah. like that's one thing that I really, really want to find. So I'm interested mm-hmm. in uh, what is one thing that makes you feel joyful and what is one thing you do for others that makes them feel joyful? 
I really I like taking walks. I think that gives me a lot of joy. Um, I also love cooking. That gives me a lot of joy. Like I don't know. I just love following recipes, going off my own tangent, making something. I uh, I think giving other people joy. I think just like spending time. Not that my presence gives that joy, but like you know, I think spending time like with my nephews that is like gives me joy. But then kind of like think that gives them joy as well. Oh, sort of thing. Yeah, but like sp- spending time, I think is a um, good one and also I think just like listening having a chat having a chat having a cuppa yeah yeah having a cuppa um, is there anything in Gujarati you want to say quickly before you go teach me a Gujarati saying this is for like babies if anyone wants to learn a Gujarati nursery rhyme I think it's my mom's going to be probably listening and be like what the hell but it goes nana tarahat nana tarahat but it's a really cute one basically it goes to the hands and it says oh my god your hands are so small um what a lovely thing then it goes to your eyes then it goes um uh, to your feet so not so you'll be saying nana tada heart you're saying those oh, how small are your hands then there's a word I've actually forgotten that. Nana Dada Hat. Din Din. Something that word blank. Jana Mara. <laughs> this sounds like Jana the Mara. national anthem. Jana Mara. Jana. No, no, no. Not Jana. 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 Jana, Jana Mara. Dinna. Kekli. Like water. A job. A jivy. Vata chair. So yeah. I think a job is like, uh, oh, how curious of a thing. And then you go like, Nana Tara Ak, Nana Tara Bug, like basically saying like different Nana Tara Gal, or, but it's a really cute one. Or there's another one like Tamatu Tamatu, meaning tomato, tomato. tomato. Um, and then, so, yeah, which is a really cute one, but again, I can't remember the rest of it, so it's probably a bit boring for anyone who's listening. But if you know it, you know, okay. I'll maybe I'll create a book or something. Or create a new track of Baby Shark to do this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Na, na, da, da, ha, 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 ha. Exactly. You yeah. got it, you got it. And then Vidya will choreograph it and tour it around all schools. Yeah, children's yeah. show. Yeah, children's show. There you go. For sure. Copyright. Na, da, da, <laughs> Well, everyone, that brings us to the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you never miss out. And don't forget to rate and comment on whichever platform you're listening this episode on. You can also become a patron and a supporter of the show by subscribing for as small as £5 or as I love saying $5.50 on Patreon. I will put the information of the artist on the episode and any of the links in the description of this episode. So make sure to check that out. But as of now, I will leave you as I always do. Breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> now I must go, which means now I must go. That is copyrighted and I will sue. <laughs> Until next time, stay curious. <laughs>